Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm joined by Sonia Petresca. Uh, Sonia, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How about you? Terrific. Um, now, can you can you kind of give us a, a little insight into uh, the work that you're doing, a little bit about your um, your practice? Yes. So I am a certified EFT practitioner and energy makeover coach. Um, and I provide uh, online um, remote uh, alternative holistic therapy sessions, essentially. So um, basically, people are able to use this coaching and the tool of EFT to change their lives, which is a big claim, but we're definitely going to get into the nitty gritty and how exactly that's going to happen and what people can expect. Okay. First, can you just expand on what EFT is? Yes, of course. EFT stands for emotional freedom techniques. So it's basically, it's just a, it's a holistic alternative therapy. It's a mashup of Chinese energy medicine and Western medicine. We just fused them together and we get the best of both worlds. So it's most similar to acupuncture in the sense it uses the same energy lines of the body um, but there's no needles which is wonderful you can do this um, on your own just by tapping on these different acupuncture points with your fingertips and now who who is a good candidate for this for for this practice everybody <laughs> So it sounds, I mean, it sounds kind of like a cop-out answer, but um, truly anybody can benefit from this. So um, because EFT or tapping, they, they're interchangeable, the names, because that's the main tool that I use in my coaching. Um, what's so great about it is once you learn this, once you learn how to do it, it's yours forever. You don't have to call your, your practitioner and wait for your appointment. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you can handle it on your own and just tap through the points that you've learned. So it's amazing as an on the spot, like self-soothing, self-help tool. And then for people who want to get deeper, who really want to clear out issues that have been plaguing them, maybe even for their whole lives and be rid of that, that's where a coach comes in to help them navigate that and gently clear out the issues that have been kind of keeping them in that place. Okay. Yeah. I, I want to know more about that tapping, but, uh, but first, can you kind of tell me um, how you got into this and uh, how the, how you took this, this road and, and, and got interested in, in the tapping? And EFT. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I got into this because of my own personal experience. I went through a really hard season and I was that person who was like, I just want to feel better. And um, so just by some incredible coincidence, I um, tapping just came onto my radar and at first I started tapping along with YouTube videos like many people have done. And I got interested. I started researching and I was very excited by the, the support, the scientific support in the different um, peer reviewed uh, magazines and journals. And so I decided, let me, let me follow this and see where it leads. And one thing led to another, and now I'm a certified practitioner. Um, so not only my own results, but also the results of my clients further instill my belief and my enthusiasm for this practice. Gotcha. All right. So maybe we can get into it. Maybe you can tell me like what exactly is, is the uh, tapping and um, it, how, how would a session go? Like what, what would somebody expect? Right. So in a tapping session, first of all, I mean, generally, let's say, you know, you're, we'll use you as the example, Casey, okay. let's say you decide, you know, there's something in your life that you it's not working for you, right? right? And you want some sort of change. Um, so many of us are in that position. We feel stuck. We feel like overwhelmed by emotions for one reason or another. Maybe there's past traumas that are keeping us, preventing us from doing what we actually want to in life, right? So when this happens, then you get up the courage, you muster the courage and you contact a coach like me. And um, so basically what we'll do is I'll go through the main tapping points with you, which um, will 
we'll give you an experience here in a moment oh, cool. um, and teach you those. But um, we'll go through the tapping points just so the client's familiar with that. And then really they tell me, okay, what it is that they are feeling, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical, whether it's just like mental chatter, so there's going to be something that's coming up or maybe some sort of sensation that they can't verbalize or ar articulate. But um, so they'll identify something, right? Would and stress would stress fall into that category? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And so then we can um, kind of rank it. So on a scale of zero to 10, how intense does it feel? So zero means it's whatever. It doesn't bother me. 10 is this is the worst thing ever. So between <laughs> zero and 10, how strong is it? And then we use that, or I use that as a guide to navigate where we need to go. So um, whatever you tell me in terms of how it feels, how intense, if there are specific things related. So for example, if you're stressed out because um, your kid just said, oh, I need four dozen cupcakes for the party at school tomorrow, mm -hmm. you can include, we uh, with this information, I will include it in the round of tapping. So we add voice. So we always start with a setup statement and the magical formula is even though blank, so even though I feel stressed, for example, okay. I um, accept myself right now. So it's it's the, the problem and then an affirmation. Um, and it's, it's an interesting contrast and many people kind of shy away from this because they don't want to, first of all, voice the problem oh. because it's uncomfortable, especially if it's something that's really, um, very emotionally ingrained or something, you know, from the childhood, not something that you want to actually speak aloud, right. but that's part of it. That's why, um, I think that's why affirmations sometimes get a bad rap is because people who go straight to the positive stuff don't clear out what's blocking these changes from happening. Oh. So once you clear that out, then you're open and you can kind of um, do the reprogramming for the good stuff that you actually want to invite in. I see. So people like sometimes like to skip a step in a way. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. And I mean, it's OK that you don't know what you don't know. And, right. you know, that's part of learning. So, okay. all right. So, so people, people that are, are stressed out like me, uh, people that have anxiety, would they fit, would they benefit from, from a session? Yes, absolutely. So I'll just give you a couple of examples of um, challenges or areas of concern that I have worked with clients on in the Great. past. Yeah, that helps. So um, uh, relationship challenges. So any relationship has challenges. And um, like, there's a lot of feelings that come up no matter what it is. So, so that's something that I work on with clients, life transitions, anxiety, like you said, fear, um, self-esteem or self-worth issues, uh, productivity, procrastination, physical pain, even um, trauma, as we mentioned before, and then kind of on the more, um, I hate to say it like positive or negative, but on the more unexpected side, I'll say uh, people can even improve athletic or peak performance. They can improve business. They can um, get help with setting and achieving goals. So honestly, it's it's really like if you can think it, you can do it. Hmm. Um, so the it's the the application of EFT in my coaching is very wide reaching. Right. Sounds like it could help uh, like uh, pretty much everybody with what, what they're, they're going through. Um, uh, even physical pain. Wow. That that's, that's really interesting. Uh, well, I, I mean, the body can pretty much do anything. So I, I guess um, uh, it seems like everyone uh, is a candidate for this. Yeah, for sure. And also just on the topic of physical pain, what's interesting, and I think that a lot of people don't uh, really consider is that a lot of times what we're feeling in our body, like if you have tension or, or muscle tightness or just some sensation you can't um, describe or, or there's no explanation for, a lot of this is the manifestation of uh, emotions that have not been dealt with. Oh. So like you said, the body works in, in mysterious ways. And it, it you know if we're not listening, it's going to keep uh, trying to deliver the message in whatever ways it can. And so um, yeah, it's really fascinating. So, so, so something emotional can just fester inside and lead to uh, something physical. Is that is that yes? Is that accurate? That's absolutely correct. Yeah. Wow. So, so 
were you experiencing any of that? Uh, was it a, a physical or was it an emotional or uh, that, that got you, uh, that got you uh, so passionate uh, about this? Um, yeah. So I, um, I definitely had like a, <laughs> a uh, constant anxiety like that feeling of walking on eggshells there's yeah. always just like that feeling in your chest and you never can fully relax Dread, that was my baseline for yeah for for many years and I didn't even realize it was there until it was gone right so this is this is actually one of those um, uh, incredible things with um the energy makeover coaching using EFT is that oftentimes people don't realize the tension that they're holding until it clears out. So um, I actually would really love to show you or teach you the tapping too. points Great. because, you know, just for you as an individual, it's really cool. And then you can, yeah. you know, share your, with your family and friends. Yeah. So, awesome. um, <laughs> so the first place that we would tap is on the side of the hand. So the fleshy part between the pinky joint and your wrist, you can do either hand. It doesn't matter whatever you're most comfortable. You just tap with the fingers of the opposite hand. And this is where we would say our setup statement. So for example, even though I feel stressed, I completely accept myself. So even if, okay. so should I, should I repeat after? Um, you? Not yet. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll go through the points and then we'll do a, a practice round. Okay. Should I, okay. should I be tapping when you're doing it? Or, or yeah. Just... Yeah. Just, yeah. So you can try it out. So then the next we'll tap on the top of our head. And honestly, for the rest of the points, you can do one hand if that's more comfortable. Okay. Then we'll go to the eyebrow, the start of your eyebrow. So right where the, the brow bone starts there. Yep. Okay. Then we'll go to the outside corner of your eye on the bone. Perfect. Then we'll go below the eye again on the bone. Just tapping gently. Next, we tap under the nose. So right between the nose and the top lip. And then we move under the bottom lip. So right in the chin crease. Okay, we're almost there. We have two more points. Next, we move to um, just below the collarbones. And with this, you can do two hands if that's comfortable, or you can just tap with, with one hand across the, across the collarbones if that's preferred. Okay. okay, the last point is the most awkward. So sorry in advance. It's under the arms. Um, so basically it's about four, three, four inches under your armpit. So if you place your hand in your armpit, just under your hand is where the point is going to be. So we have three options for how to, to hit this point. We can tap one side and then the other, we can cross in front, kind of like an embrace if that's comfortable for you, or you can have your arms out to the side, kind of like a monkey and tap this way. So it's whatever is preferred by the individual. So it kind of sounds like your lat, uh, lat muscle kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, so those, those are the, the main points. And if there is a point that doesn't work for you, like for example, for some reason, doesn't matter what it is. If you're like, I, I hate this point. I don't want to do it. That's okay. You don't have to, it's still going to work. Okay. Um, and you don't have to believe it for it to work. Skeptics are more than welcome. <laughs> so, cool. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, if we want to give this a go, yeah, uh, sure. it sounds as though perhaps you may have some stress, Casey. Yes, I do. Okay. So on a scale of uh, zero to 10, how intense would that be? I say about a six or seven. Okay. A six or seven. And um, you don't have to tell me anything about your situation, but if there are any specific things that come to mind that you think uh, you might like to give voice to, we can sprinkle those in. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I have a, sometimes hard to concentrate like that brain fog thing. Okay. Okay. Like that. And then I have shoulder pain. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and the shoulder pain, this is in uh, your left, left, your left shoulder. Okay. And um, what is the pain like? Can you describe it? Sure, a little uh, it's a uh, sharp um, and uh kind of it kind of feels like uh one of those uh, stingers that will go down your you know your arm kind of like yeah yeah okay okay let's let's see what we can do so first yeah. let's go ahead and take a nice easy breath in through the nose and i'm just blowing it out to the mouth okay cool Are you ready yeah 
All right, I'm excited. So tapping on the side of the hand, you'll repeat after me. Okay. Even though I feel this stress in my shoulder. Even though I feel this stress in my shoulder. I completely accept myself right now. I completely accept myself right now. Even though I feel this radiating stress. Even though I feel this radiating stress. In my shoulder. In my shoulder. I choose to accept myself completely. I choose to accept myself completely. Even though I have this brain fog. Even though I have this brain fog. And I feel this stress radiating down my shoulder. And I feel the stress radiating down my shoulder. I choose to deeply and completely. I choose to deeply and completely. Accept myself anyway. Accept myself anyway. Okay, wonderful. So moving to the top of the head. This stress in my shoulder. This stress in my shoulder. Eyebrow point. It's intense. It's intense. Sides of the eyes. It's radiating down my arm. It's radiating down my arm. Under the eye. This stress. This stress. Under the nose. Uh, this mental fog. This mental fog. Under the mouth. My stress. My stress. Under the collarbones. This sharp pain in my shoulder. This sharp pain in my shoulder. Under the arms. This sharp pain in my left shoulder. This sharp pain in my left shoulder. Okay, we're going to do one more round going back to the top of the head. My stress. My stress. Eyebrow point. It's a sharp pain in my shoulder. It's a sharp pain in my shoulder. Side of the eye. This mental fog. This mental fog. Under the eye. This stress is so big. This stress is so big. Under the nose. I feel it in my left shoulder. I feel it in my left shoulder. Under the mouth. What would it feel like? What would it feel like? For it to um for it to disappear. For it to disappear. Under the collarbones. This stress in my left shoulder. The stress in my left shoulder. It's a sharp pain. It is a sharp pain. Under the arms. My stress. My stress. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let that go. If you feel a need to move, you can, you know, do a little wiggle, whatever feels good to you. Okay. Um, and then we'll take a nice another uh, breath in through the nose, blowing it out the mouth. And I saw earlier you had some water. So go ahead. I invite you rather to take a sip of water. Thank you. And I am curious what you're noticing, if anything. Uh, I know I, starting out, there's, it's, yeah, please. I, I just uh, um, I kind of um, uh, uh, more relaxed and oh, okay. Just uh, um, no anxiety or anything, just uh, re very relaxed and calm. Okay, good. Wonderful. So that I'm glad that you said that because that is one of the best things that people get out of this. If it, you know, regardless of whether or not they're trying to treat something specific, if they're just feeling like I need to chill out, this is a wonderful, easy and free way to do that. Right. Yeah. So, um, Casey, let me ask you just, just out of curiosity. So if you had to give your stress a number between zero and 10 in this moment how does it feel to you four okay that's wonderful that's improvement so we went from yeah. seven six to a four so th this is how it would go we would continue rounds adding in right. as needed um until we get down to ideally a zero but it's time permitting right so um any decrease is 
you know, is a success. So this yeah. is also something that people can take and they can feel good about as well, because, you know, even if you're not um, completely clearing out some feeling, if you have some amount of relief, that's a win. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, my, my question is when we were doing a, when we were tap, what, what is this doing? Uh, is it taking, uh, I guess I could think of maybe I'm not concentrating. I'm kind of concentrating on this. Uh, what's, what's the significance of doing the actual pressing and tapping? Yeah. So the actual um, tapping, making contact uh, with those points. So these are the nine points that I showed you that you learned today mm. are the um, main uh, meridian endpoints or acupressure points uh, that we use. And that also um, some of these are used in acupuncture as well on along the meridian energy channels of the body. So what it does is when we tap on these points, it stimulates the meridian lines. It helps the energy to move. But what's more is it actually sends a message to your brain which um, basically tells the amygdala, the stress response center to relax, and then it allows the body to calm down. But when you're thinking about your stress, that triggers the amygdala, so your body activates. And when we tap, it sends that second message. So there's two contrasting messages going to your brain at the same time. And this creates a new neural pathway. It rewires the brain literally so that you can um, basically override that old thought process and adopt this new one of being more calm, relaxed. Um, wow. And so it's there, there are physiological changes that happen, which is also amazing so it's that, it's really beneficial that is uh, so interesting and yeah i um it's it's definitely um uh, something that you know you could do uh i guess when you when you get really stressed out um do you have to be alone to to do this or uh do you have to be uh, sitting standing laying down or, or... okay yeah that's a good question so um, whether or not you're alone, that's up to the individual. If you're comfortable tapping on your head and face in public, by all means do it. Okay. Um, I know many people are not, and that's okay. Um, I would recommend, um, having your, being in a position, whether it's sitting or standing and so that your feet can be on the ground. And the idea of this is we, if you want to take it back to the natural world, like lightning, when it strikes, it needs to ground somewhere because there is actual energy in our body that is moving. We want it to go somewhere too. So the energy we're trying to move, we want to get that out so we can let um, things rebalance and, and bring in the good things, you know? So um, basically just feet on the floor, and then I would recommend definitely having water or something with you to drink because surprisingly it makes you thirsty and we need to be hydrated to, to keep things moving. Yeah. I was going to ask you why, why you had me do that? Because I know sometimes after you get a massage, they tell you to drink water. Yes. Afterwards. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you said that it's the same kind of thing because there are a lot of things moving in your body, not only energy like biochem or you know bioenergy that's in our bodies but also you know because there are physiological changes that are happening we want to make sure that that isn't just like stagnant in one spot so the water helps to keep all of our organs functioning as they should keep us well hydrated so that things can move around uh the way they're supposed to well that's pretty awesome and, I, I, and uh for right now i don't you know because it it comes and goes but uh, right now there is no there is no shoulder pain at all. I'm moving it and awesome. I yeah. love hearing that. So that's so, you know so that's that's that, you know that's that's pretty. Look, I I'm uh, open. I believe that anything um, can work for for different people or whatever. I might I have an open mind, um, you know. And uh, that was uh that was interesting. So so that is the e, that's EFT and and would we start like if if I was your client, would we start every session like that? Yeah, we're going to be doing that every session. There'll be a lot of dialogue because of the coaching aspect. Yeah. But when we get to something that, um, that I recognize, first of all, but also most often the client recognizes, oh, this is something that's not really comfortable. We should probably dig into this a little bit. That's when we bring out the tapping and we 
clear out and, and kind of uncover what's really behind it so that we can heal it and it no longer bothers. That's awesome. Uh, Sonia, um, thank you so much for, uh, for that session and uh, for teaching us about that. Let me give you the last word here. Uh, anything you want the audience to think about, you want them to know, and then let us know how to get a hold of you, please. Yes, of course. Um, I mean, I guess I would just like to echo your sentiments earlier, you know, just um, being open-minded to, to things that you may not consider um, because there are so many amazing tools out there out there that are not necessarily mainstream, like tapping and the energy makeover coaching, which Casey just experienced, um, that are incredibly beneficial and effective. So um, I definitely encourage people to, to be bold, be brave, be curious, and try out these things. Um, you can get more information about me and what I do and my coaching services at tap to shine wellness.com. Um, and uh, again, all of my services are remote, so you can do them anywhere in the world. You don't even have to wear pants if you don't want to because it's on Zoom. So um, it, there's a lot of flexibility. And I, I just encourage people to reach out if they're curious or interested in more information. Um, and I would love to uh, connect. Awesome. Sonia, thank you so much. And everybody else will be right back. Stay there. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network.